Hi, welcome back to Astronel. Today we're going to look at budget accessories for visual astronomy and for astrophotography. I'm going to split it up in two separate videos so you can choose and they don't become too lengthy. Uh, just to let you know, I bought these items with my own money. So it's not a sponsored review or anything like that. It's just my views uh, on the value of these items in relation to the price I paid for them. I'll put links to the uh, items where I bought them uh, in this description below. Um, it's also not affiliate links or anything like that. So also have a look around. Uh, the prices might have changed a little bit since I bought them and you might be able to find them in a cheaper store. But overall, I think these are all quite inexpensive items. So um, if they perform anything like I think they will perform, it'll be good value for money in my point of view. So let's go on to the video. Okay, my first accessory for visual astronomy is a 90 degree zenith mirror. You need this to get a good viewing angle uh, because your scope is of course tilted towards the night sky. Uh, this is the SV Boney SV188P. It has an all metal aluminium alloy construction and uh, it's made for one quarter inch eyepieces. The mirror has a 99% dielectric coating which means it's highly reflective. On one hand you have a compression ring where you can put your eyepiece and then on the other hand you have uh, threads to put a one quarter inch uh, filter. I think it's really nice um, piece. It has a nice quality build to it. It doesn't cost a lot and comes well packaged in this box with a foam insert. I would recommend it for the price. Okay, next up is a three-piece eyepiece set by SV Boney. They are all 62 degrees uh, field of view viewing angle and it's a 23 millimeter, 10 millimeter and 4 millimeter focal length eyepiece. It has a partly plastic and partly metal construction and the 23 millimeter eyepiece has a 22 millimeter lens diameter and uh, all eyepieces have threads for one quarter inch filters. The 10 millimeter piece has also a 10 millimeter uh, lens uh, or eye lens diameter. Again, also metal and plastic construction. And they all come packaged in separate boxes with uh, lens caps, so that's nice too. And the last piece is a four millimeter focal length. Also has a 10 millimeter uh, lens eye diameter, but it has a sort of Barlow lens uh, in the bottom. But uh, all uh, still have the lens threads to put a one quarter inch filter on. Okay, next up is a eyepiece extender, the SV Boney SV157, which comes in two variants, the W9118A and B. The A variant has a 56 millimeter extension and this is the 70 millimeter extension version. It has uh, one quarter inch uh, threads and a compression ring to hold your eyepiece without scratching it. It's an all metal construction and feels really uh, quality. Okay, last up is the Celestron Omni two times Barlow for one quarter inch eyepieces. It's an uh, all metal construction, all expect, except for the plastic part which holds the uh, Barlow lens. Uh, unfortunately, this version does not have a compression ring, so be careful not to scratch your eyepieces uh, when you lock the tightening screw. Um, the lens has a green multi coating. You can't really see it on the video, but it, you can see it in real life. And it performed quite well when I had some clear skies and was able to look at the moon, even with the four millimeter eyepiece, which is effectively overpowering my uh, telescope at the moment. As you can see, you can unscrew the Barlow lens and uh, then you effectively have an uh, extender. So that's also why I chose the larger extender um, from SV Boney. Uh, you can also unscrew this part. I don't know really why you would want to do that, but uh, it's possible. If you want any of these items, please ch uh, check the description below. It's not affiliate links or anything like that. It's just where I bought them. Uh, so you have an indication what the price currently is.
Okay, there you have it. Those are my views on uh, the accessories for visual astronomy. Uh, seeing as the price is quite low, I think they uh, represent good value for money. Of course, when you go to brand names, you will probably get better uh, quality glass and better resolution. But for someone who's just starting out and want to have uh, some accessories uh, for not too much money, because the, the hobby is of course expensive enough, I think they, uh, they are a good uh, buy. Uh, so that's it for now. I hope you all have clear skies and see you on the next one. Bye.